I exploded a secret YouTube automation channel, and here's how I did it. YouTube automation or cash cow channels are basically channels on YouTube. You've seen so many examples of these things where you don't have to show your face at all, and in many cases, you don't even use your own voice or your real voice. The thing is, there's about a million YouTubers out there talking about this side hustle or way to make money online. Okay, new plan to make it out the hood this week. Cash cow YouTube channel. YouTube cash cow channel. Cash cow channel. But as somebody who's been doing this side hustle for a really long time, time on and off, I decided to go out and go look at all these videos and see if they actually had any facts, see if they kind of held any sort of like real sort of knowledge to teach you guys what to actually do about these YouTube automation channels. And I gotta say, the results are rather misleading. So that's when I decided <laughs> it's time to rip the bandaid off tell you guys that I do in fact have another secret YouTube channel and show you guys from all of my knowledge and experience how you can create one of these channels that generates you passive income once you get it monetized and it's all set up and you're generating views. So what a lot of these channels tell you is that you can actually outsource all of this to like freelancers on Fiverr and all sorts of different places to create these videos for you so that way you can just upload them and make some money. But me personally, I like to do things all by myself. I don't really have that budget to where I wanna go out and I'm gonna have somebody else make my videos for me. That just doesn't seem a, a good way to learn, or B, like the best plan of attack. Because if you do things personally, you learn so much yourself. And that's kind of why I wanna just show you guys everything that I'm doing. It doesn't really take too long. These videos take as much effort or as little effort as you're willing to put into them. Now, what a lot of these YouTube videos tell you is that you should buy their YouTube automation course and you're gonna learn everything from step A to Z, but really it's, it's not that complicated. I'm gonna give you my entire like blueprint, my entire playbook in just this small, simple, short video, and you don't really need to buy a course, so why should you have to? Now, the first thing you need when you start any of these channels is you're gonna need a channel name, but in order to have a channel name, you're gonna need a really good niche, and I've got a couple tricks for you to pick a really good niche that can generate you some income, because picking the right niche is probably the most important part, in my opinion, of this entire process. Now, traditionally, high-paying niches are niches that have a high RPM or CPM, so the CPM is what the advertisers pay YouTube for the actual advertising placements on the videos, and the RPM is your cut that you get to take home after YouTube takes their cut of the ads. Typically, the high-performing niches are more like on the business, the finance, the make money side, kind of like where my channel's at. But there's also plenty of other niches that you wouldn't realize are actually high RPM niches. You kind of just need to do a little bit of research. Most of these channels are in niches where the audience is typically adults in first world countries, you know, like United States, Canada, many of the countries in Europe that sort of thing. The only problem with all these high paying niches is that they're incredibly competitive. So what I like to do when I'm starting a new channel like this is I actually go on YouTube and I start searching for keywords and looking through them with a tool called TubeBuddy, which I'll have linked down in the description. It's not a sponsor or anything like that, but it's something that I use daily for every single channel and it brings me immense value. So basically I look through all of these niches and I look for niches that are underserved and by underserved, I mean niches that people don't typically make videos in maybe they're a brand new niche or it's a niche where a lot of people don't know how to actually create this content that is a niche that is a gold mine absolute gold mine especially when you get in early and another thing is a controversial niche and that's kind of the route that i like to take because controversy brings more engagement and when there's more engagement people watch longer they fight in the comments and that pushes the video further and further in the youtube algorithm and generates you a lot more views a lot more subscribers and most importantly a lot more money but the real secret if you want to take all those things I just told you and put them all in one bright, shiny, money-making package is to actually take a niche that has a high RPM or CPM that could be competitive, and maybe it's not even controversial, but you find ways to make it controversial because there are plenty of ways to actually do that. And there's lots of things that you can actually enlighten people on and make them feel a lot more engaged with and bring them more self-awareness. And one of those niches that immediately stuck out to me when I was creating my new YouTube automation channels is actually the business niche and talking about some of the bad business practices and some of the shady business practices that go on behind the scenes because it's controversial it's interesting and we're helping people to actually realize some of the things that go down deep in these corporations that other people don't really know about. 
Now, a really good example of this is a YouTube channel called Moon. And basically, for a lot of their videos, they take up our businesses and talk about all the evil things that are going on behind the scenes, which is one of those things that kind of inspired me to create my channel because I can see how all of this controversy drives so much traffic from a marketing perspective. But it's obvious, I don't have to tell you this, we're not gonna be massive like Moon when we start our YouTube channels, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna make money because in these high RPM and CPM niches, we can make a bunch of money off the ad that not only YouTube has, but we can also make a lot of money by selling products and services to the people that watch our videos. So there's a few things you're gonna need if you wanna start one of these channels. And the number one thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna actually need a script for these videos. So you're gonna have to write out a script of kind of where you want the story to go, what you wanna portray in the video. And you can actually do a lot of that by just looking it up on Google and using a paraphraser like Quillbot to actually take some of that information that you had and change it into other words. And that's kind of the lazy layman's terms way of like doing things. You could also write out the script yourself if you wanna have more fun and you wanna actually insert yourself and your personality into this sort of story. And you're also gonna need somebody to do the voiceover for these videos. And in many cases, people use like robots to do the voiceover for the videos. And I've shown that in a lot of my other videos. In many cases, like it's best to do it yourself. And in my case, what I do is I actually just do it in Premiere Pro myself. I'll actually go ahead, I'll use my little microphone that's right here out of the camera range and I'll record some audio and then I'll actually change my voice because I don't want people to recognize me from my YouTube channel and there's plenty of ways to do this so whatever way you want to take you could even hire somebody but that's if you want to go the extra step and you're being super lazy and you've got the money to kind of throw at that whole prospect because there's no guarantee this works out but if you keep trying you're gonna learn a crap ton from this and eventually you'll succeed then you really just need an editor so maybe you learn how to edit your videos yourself or you hire somebody else to do it or you have a friend helping you guys going on this business together whatever way you take is up to you but if you want to get this thing monetized you're gonna need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time on your long-form content that's why I recommend that you start posting about two to three videos a week if you have the time for me I like to do it about once a week so eventually you can sort of get this channel monetized and start raking in some passive income then you can kind of take your foot off the gas pedal a little bit and do it at your own pace but if you're blowing up you might as well keep with the momentum and keep posting these videos because they start to snowball when you find the right niche and the right content and you can make a lot of money in doing so. Now, every single part of this process has been immensely important so far, but the one thing that I think is more important than anything with these sort of faceless channels is the editing and how you actually create these videos. Now, this is Epidemic Sound, and it is the best music and sound effect platform out there for using music in your YouTube videos or any kind of content in general. As you can see, they've got recommendations for me based on my YouTube channel, and I use their music and sound effects in literally every single channel I have, and on all the things I create, they also have different playlists and themes and the search functionality is absolutely amazing you can go over the browse tab you can check out different genres moods themes albums and sound effects and they even let you save these things for custom access at any time epidemic has literally changed the YouTube game for me but they really just do the best job at making this thing so easy to use so say I'm looking for a click sound effects which I always look for when I'm switching in between scenes in my videos but we've got over 3100 different click sound effects so you can hear it just by clicking it and previewing it and then you just click the simple little download button and then you can select the format you want to download that in click download and then I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do here pause I cannot stress enough how important epidemic sound is for any sort of content creator you can get a free 30-day free trial by clicking the link down in my description below if you decide to keep the product it's only nine to nineteen dollars per month depending on what you're actually trying to get and on top of that you can get 50% off an annual personal plan by clicking my special link down in that description below this is for new first-time users only I got that sweet sweet hookup with epidemic sound because I love you guys so much and I believe in this product and the value that it brings every sort of creator out there I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into our project here but I'm gonna show you guys an example of when I changed my voice for these sort of faceless videos so by going here I'm just gonna remove some of this voice change attributes which I put this pitch shifter sound effect in here there's a bunch of different ways to do it and I don't have any actual video on here yet but I'm gonna line this up with the scene shift right here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and play some of this audio for you. McDonald's is ruining the lives of tens of millions of people, but how? Now, 
Oh, you could say that it's unhealthy food they perpetuate as refreshing, but there's something much more sinister going on beneath the surface. So as you can see, I changed my voiceover in Premiere Pro. It was pretty simple. That wasn't like my completed final version, but people would much rather listen to you than a robot, even with the voice change. Because if you put a lot of work into this whole voice change thing, you can make it sound super duper good and like an entirely different person. But having the music and the sound effects to go alongside with these videos is the most important part for audience retention. Now, it took me three months to get this new channel monetized, which actually isn't so bad. It generates me a few dollars every day, but I'm kind of interested to see what it looks like a year from now. And if you guys kind of want to see that too, don't forget to like and subscribe on this video. And I hope you learned an absolute crap ton realistically about YouTube automation.